Hi there guys, it's Jack here from Pure Create Designs and in this tutorial we're looking at creating this type of YouTube icon or avatar, whatever you want to call it. Now this was requested by a fellow YouTuber so I thought I'd do this tutorial. It is based on my YouTube icon, it's not really hard to do but um, I think it's quite smart and I'm just going to show you how to create this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File New. I'm going to make my uh, width 500 and my height 500. Okay, now first off, I'm going to fill the background in white, so I'm just going to hit Control and Backspace. Or, um, if your uh, colours are set white to black, you can choose um, Alt backs um, Control Backspace, and that'll fill that black, or Alt sp Backspace, and that'll fill that white. Depends on all your foreground colours, or if you prefer, you can always use the um, Paint Bucket tool and um, fill it that way. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do now is first off, we're going to want to add that gradient. So I'm going to get that gradient tool, the gradient tool over here. You might see the paint bucket tool. Just go up and find the um, gradient tool by clicking down. Just choosing what you want when you click down. Now um, I'm going to just choose um, black to white for now, and I'm going to set this one over here to a grey, round in the middle. Okay, so about there. I'm going to use the same 7a, 7a, 7a. Put that into the little hash thing down here. Okay. And then the other side, I'm going to make it a lot lighter grey, so probably about that D5, D5, D5. Okay, okay again. Now I'm going to make sure I'm on the, um, yeah, I think this is the, uh, what's it called? Let's see what it's called. Oh, it doesn't tell me. But it's the middle one. Um, I used to know what it's called. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, radial, that's it, yeah. Um, the radial gradient. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to go from just above halfway, click, hold, and shift down and drag down and as you can see it's created this nice radial with a nice uh, lighter colour in the middle with the darker around the outside okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the text so if I get to come to the text tool the font I'm using is Bank Gothic you can download it in the um, video description then I'm going to click down I'm going to make my colour black okay then I'm going to put PCD because my uh, YouTube initials okay and then I'm just going to scroll this thing up Probably do about there. Okay, that looks good. So as I said, you can download this font from the video description. I like the font. Um, it's nice, um, bold font. Just think, um, looks really good. Look, um, I use it quite a lot actually. But on this one here, as you can see, we have an extended on the P, just so this sort of text fits in. And um, all you have to do to that is, um, if I just zoom in, I'm just using Alt and scrolling in on my wheel on my uh, laptop. I do that and I come and get the uh, rectangle marquee tool and I uh, create a new layer and I drag down like so out to there and I hit control and backspace or alt and backspace sorry to fill that in black making sure my uh, background colour is black and then choosing control and D to deselect as you can see we have a selection here and I'm just going to move it into place um, that looks in place actually yep so um, once you've done that, if I just zoom back out, as you can see, oops, it's a bit over. Um, let's see if we can scale this down a little bit. Let's go back to 200%. Scale this up. A bit too big now. Anyway, you can mess around trying to get that right. I'm not going to mess around with it for a sec. That'll, that'll do. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Okay. So once you've got that extended, you can do whatever you want. I'm just extending the P. Yours could be like a C, so you don't need to. Um, but I just thought that extension looks quite nice. Then I'm going to get the text tool, and I'm going to scale this down quite a bit again. Probably to about 33, what it was before. 33. Okay, and then I'm going to write Procreate Designs. Oh as well. Okay, I'm going to drag it up a little bit. Okay, like so. Then on the other one, as you can see, we have a nice gloss going through the text, like so. So all we have to do to do that is create a new layer again. Okay. Then I'm going to get the um, elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to make sure my foreground color is white, and I'm going to drag over about half of the um, the big not big um, text here. I'm going to hit. Um, Control and backspace, um, oh sorry, alt and backspace, and that'll fill that white. 
and then I'm going to take the opacity down how much I want it to be. So mine's going to be about um, be about ten percent. Okay. And then as you can see we have this um, all around the background here. You could go around with a rubber tool and get rid of all that, but that's just a awkward way and um, takes too long. So if we're on this layer here, we can hold down control and go to the PCD text. And as you can see it's highlighted it like so. If I go to select inverse, then I hit delete. As you can see it's completely um, just gone onto the text now. That's quite a nice effect. Now as you can see I have all these um, left over here. I'm going to click from the top one, so that's that gloss, and I'm going to click to the bottom one. I'm going to right click and choose rasterize type, and I'm going to right click again and choose merge layers. So you can see this is all one layer now. Okay. So I'm going to hit control T, and that's going to bring up my um, transform tool. I'm going to hit shift and just drag round, and then I'm going to drag it to the sort of where it stops second time. So there's the first, and there's the second. Oops, they sort of let go then. So one, two, okay. I hit the um, check over here, and then I'm going to come on my, uh, as you can see, my background here. I'm going to click on that one there. So I'm going to hit um, Control when I'm on the top one, and then I'm going to choose the thumbnail there. Then I'm going to come to this one here at the top, making sure I'm on my normal selection tool. Click on up here, that's going to center out, and click that one there, and that's going to put it into the middle for me. So that's it guys, that's the tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, um, please subscribe for more tutorials on the way, um, you know, a lot more a lot more coming, you can do um, a lot more After Effects actually, I'm going to get a lot more After Effects tutorials out, got some colour corrections tutorials and like stuff like your HD PVR, also that's some coming up, so please subscribe, see you guys.